wondering, you know, seeing you exhale there, what what are you feeling in this moment? What did you communicate to your guys after the game? I just told them how proud I am of them. Um, just an unbelievable effort. Gave us everything they had, you know. Uh, so much adversity this year, first year together. So many changes to the roster and so many injuries, COVID protocols. Um, yeah, they couldn't have given us anything more. They couldn't have given us, you know, to take that team, you know, without Kai and James on one leg out there doing anything he can to help his teammates. It's just, uh, you go down the line, what BG gave us, you know, Kevin's just, I don't know what more Kevin could do. It's just out of this world. And you can say that for all our guys at a different part of the season gave us something and just really, really proud of the group. And, and uh, I hurt for them more than anything. Bruce Beck, NBC, New York. Steve, did you ever think you'd be talking to us and not talking about an NBA championship following your last game of the season? I knew it was possible, especially with all the stuff we faced. I mean, you're missing Kyrie and James is on one leg. It's, it's uh, you know, I, you have to understand it's not the same. And so, you know, I, I still thought we could win it. And clearly, I think we proved tonight that we could. Um, game could have gone either way. And so you always know there's a chance anything could happen. And, you know, I think we just faced one too many obstacles this year. And, uh because our guys gave everything they had. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, on the uh, final shot of regulation by Kevin, did you have a chance to look at the replay at all with the refs? Uh, how, how, how close was it to a three-pointer? I, I haven't seen it. Sorry. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, you had a lot of guys playing heavy minutes in overtime. I'm just curious how much you thought fatigue maybe caught up with you guys down the end versus maybe something else. Yeah, for sure, fatigue played a part. I mean, you know, we, we didn't have a lot of buttons to push at the end in, uh, in this series for the most part. So, um, you know, we, we, were, we were this close, and we, if, we, if, we, if they didn't play that many minutes, we probably wouldn't have been this close, so. Uh, it was just one of those difficult things. Um, and they gave us, like I said, they gave us everything. And, you know, we had, we had a chance to win. So that's all you can ask for. And just uh, so proud of these guys. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve, uh, you know, you went with Bruce tonight. wonder if you can just describe, you know, his defensive effort on uh, Milton. I mean, Bruce is a winner. You know, we just, we love him and he fights. Uh, he's tireless. Um, Great defensively and uh, just great performance by him all season long. And uh, we needed him tonight, and he was great. Ian Begley, SNY. Steve, you guys um, finished 0 of 6 after you were up 111, 109. Was there anything there aside from the fatigue that you saw that was missing? Uh, I mean, I think we we, uh, we had some fatigue for sure, but uh, we also missed a couple looks. And, you know, we missed a couple open looks and, and then didn't make some really difficult ones. And they made it, they made theirs. It's, you know, it, it, there's nothing in it. You know, it's a two-point game and, you know, you miss one or two shots um, and it hurts. But obviously it was a really well contested by both sides. It was uh, a war you know, down the stretch and in overtime, very difficult to, to find baskets and uh, just couldn't get it done. But, you know, at that point in the game, guys are, are fatigued and you're at the end of seven games plus an overtime, you know, it's, it's a flip of a coin. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach, obviously a tough uh, result here tonight. Just wondering how guys are handling it in the locker room right now. Are guys kind of the same upbeat as you in terms of, you know, hey, we, we gave it everything we got and we had injuries or were guys more so really upset because they thought they could take this one? I think they're upset. You know, they're, they're, they, they know they could have won the series. Um, you know, I think they, they also do realize deep down that they gave it everything they had. And so it's not, it's not total, you know, uh, 
despondence. It's, it's, uh, you know, it hurts. It hurts bad. It hurts all of us. I, I hurt so much for these guys, for everything they gave us. But they also realized that uh, they gave it everything they had. Back to Greg Logan. Steve, when, when you look back on, I know it's, it's too soon, it, it's too early, but when you look back on this season, what do you think this type of effort at the end of such a crazy season will do to galvanize this bunch going forward? Yeah, I, mean, I, I just, I think we have guys that, that are extremely motivated, passionate about what they do, um, you know, are unselfish, you know, willing to sacrifice, and have a lot of character. And so you know, I think they will regroup and they'll be ready to go again. So it's been a really difficult year. We've had a lot thrown at us and they've survived it in an incredible fashion. And um, they'll get themselves ready to go again next year.